Hey, you all know that I am Aurora Day, and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's early, okay? Just, but we're going to get into this. We're going to get into this because this morning at around 5 a.m., I started uh, going through the emails that Jessica sent over that were specifically addressed to me. And I thank all of you for continuing to email us here at Aurora Day Consulting. Please continue to do that. Info at auroradayconsulting.com. Okay, so the emails that I received were from some of you who were saying that as directed, you applied for these SBA loans, these emergency loans, these COVID-19 emergency loans under the CARE Act at a local FDIC lender and you applied at Bank of America and you're saying that you were denied, okay? So now I'm reading the email, I'm saying, well, that happened fast because it just started yesterday, you know? How the heaven were you denied? What's going on, okay? So I said, I know Bank of America is not showing out. So I go to Bank of America and I, I you know, I, I start seeing, you know, what if, if anything is being said before I make a phone call and wake somebody up, <laughs> okay? And sure enough, clearly there has been an issue. Now, Miss Aurora is going to share with you what Bank of America is saying because of the thousands of applications that they have received, okay? Now, these emails that you sent to me, I don't have any screenshots of what what happened at the end of your application or what you received back via email. So I don't know how it is that you were denied, but based on what Bank of America is, is saying in response to thousands of applicants, I'm going to say you fall into one of these categories as it relates to you not being qualified to get funding from their institution. All right. Can Miss Aurora do that? Happy Saturday. This is a strong, powerful day. I want you all to know that but I'm not gonna get into that in this video. <laughs> so this is what Bank of America has to say. Small business clients with a business lending and a business deposit relationship at Bank of America are eligible to apply for the Paycheck Protection Program through our bank. A client's pre-existing lending relationship with us may be a Bank of America business credit card, small business line of credit, or a business loan. So they start off telling you how it is you're going to be eligible to use their financial institution. So if you do not already have a business lending and a business deposit relationship with Bank of America, you need not be applying for this particular SBA loan through their establishment, okay? Okay, they go on. Small business owners who do not have both a business lending and business deposit relationship with us should contact their current business loan provider as soon as possible. If they plan to apply for the Federal Paycheck Protection Program, all right? This is the best and fastest method for applying for federal relief based on the U.S. Treasury requirements and guidance. I'm, I'm about to go in right here on this. Just a second, because this is, this is so juicy, it's ridiculous, <laughs> okay? Now, I'm a little surprised that they even have to say you must be our customer in order to apply here because that's an indi that's an indicator that you don't you don't have any business banking you don't have a business you know bank account and the loan is for small businesses who have 500 or fewer employees okay so why is it that you don't have your own lending institution? What, what bank are you banking with for your business that they have to tell you, listen, you have to be a business lending and a business deposit uh, customer of ours to apply here. That, that part really, um, 
<laughs> That's really interesting. Okay, it goes on. You must, and this is bolded, have a pre-existing business lending and, and they keep going back to this, business deposit relationship with Bank of America as of February 15th, 2020. So, if you did not, if you are not banking with Bank of America for your business as of February the 15th of this year, they don't, they're asking you not to apply there, okay? A business credit card, line of credit, or loan may be the lending product used, all right? At Bank of America, the Federal Paycheck Protection Program will be administered online only. Clients must have a business online banking account. If you do not currently have a business online banking account, you must sign up for business online banking as soon as possible. Now that part got a little bit confusing and that prompted me to make a little phone call simply because first they told you you had to have one between, as of February the 15th, you had to have the pre-existing business lending and business deposit relationship. Then they came down here and said, hey, listen, uh, if you don't have one, you must sign up for business online banking as soon as possible. Uh, And then I had to, I got clarity on that. Okay, so they go back. To prepare for your application process, review requirements listing on, listed on the U.S. Treasury website. So they're telling you the information that we're about to ask you for, you can find on the U.S. Treasury website so that, you know, there's no surprises. But I think Mr. Aurora told you in yesterday's video or the day before yesterday, I can't, the days are just falling together, people, okay, um, what they're going to be asking you for. So here they go again. They want your 29 payroll, 2019 payroll, it's early, 2019 payroll, total payroll for full year of 2019, okay? These are the key... This is key, people, okay? Because what they're saying is you've got to have a real business, okay? 29th, go from sole proprietor to CEO. I keep trying to tell you. 2019 payroll, total payroll for full year 2019 by employee. Okay, here's where the pie meets the crust. This is a crusted sweet potato pie, to which Miss Aurora loves, and you can tell I've been eating them. As reported to the Internal Revenue Service. I can stop this video because <laughs> how did you go about letting the Internal Revenue Service know that you had employees? How did you do that? You wrote them a little love letter. Yeah, it's called a tax election. So what they're telling you is if you did not take a tax election and report your payroll by employee you, that that's a qualification you don't qualify you don't qualify okay so so i'm just going down the few reasons why if you actually did get rejected or or denied or whatever happened on the online application they came out to tell you what's going on okay this gets even better. It's getting better because for those of you who thought this was going to be a handout, now you're understanding that no, this is not a handout. It's what they're considering a hand up to keep people employed, okay? So it goes on. You will also be required to provide your 2019 independent contractor costs, all right? This is a listing of 1099s miscellaneous for 2019 independent contractors by person I'm going to say it again, as reported to the Internal Revenue Service. So see, if you're not friends with the man, I'm going to, I'm going to go on. <laughs> it's six o'clock in the morning. Okay. You, you got you to gotta, uh, provide your payroll report as of February 15, 2020, or closest date after that date by employee and they note there is other information just depending on what's going on with you we're going to ask you for a few more things all right now 
that go back in. The program will be available for businesses with 500, bold it now, or fewer employees, bold it, to help with payroll, rent, utilities, healthcare course, retirement, and more, okay? This is really good information right here because this has been a, a misunderstanding for some people. Loans can be for up to two months of your average monthly payroll costs from the last year plus an additional 25 cent of that amount. The loan amount is capped at $10 million. Now I wanna say something to the individuals who commented on the $10,000 grant. There are qualifications for that grant as well. Once again, that's not a handout. You, you have to qualify for that as well, okay? Here's the, for, here's the forgiveness part that, that you all have been asking about, okay? Loans will be forgiven up to the loan amount for a borrower's payroll, rent, mortgage, and utility costs incurred and paid during an eight week period after a loan is originated. Okay, so that brought the clarity to everyone who was trying to figure out what the president and the crew, the task force was referring to as it relates to the forgiveness portion. I'm gonna say that again. Loans will be forgiven up to the loan amount for a borrower's payroll, rent, mortgage and utility costs incurred and paid during an eight week period after a loan is originated, okay? Here we go. Loan forgiveness will be reduced to the extent of A, any reduction in employee headcount during this period as compared to the prior year. Gotta have your paperwork, folks. And B, any reduction in pay of an employee by more than 25% as compared to their prior year compensation, borrowers that rehire workers will not be penalized for paying them less when they are rehired, okay? They go on to say a few other things that, that doesn't uh, speak to the questions that you email. So what Miss Aurora is gonna say again, again, okay, um, please, Read all of the fine print as it relates to these loans that you are applying for. And if you, if you do not have a business bank account, then this particular loan program, the Paycheck Protection Program, is not the program that you need to be applying for, all right? So, once again, I thank you for emailing us here at Aurora Day Consulting. <laughs> Somebody just won't leave Miss Aurora alone. <laughs> Oh, Lord. All right, please continue to keep Miss Aurora informed as to what it is you are doing as it relates to this paycheck protection program. How are your application processes going? Did you get approved? What did you get approved for? That would be confidential, of course. Uh, and of course, you know, you can do that at info at AuroraDayConsulting.com. Comment here on YouTube or Facebook. The links will be below and above, all right? And, you know, you can find me, Miss Aurora, at auroradayconsulting.com. And until next time, ta-ta.